I'm Sarah of Bridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to create a flat slip stitch join when working uh, together to afghan squares such as I have here. This is my spring stitches throw. And uh, the slip stitch join, as you can see, this is the front side. It creates a relatively flat join. And then if you turn it over on the back and also take a look uh, again, it's nice and nice and flat and uh, fairly smooth. It's quite a secure design uh, and uh, works fairly quickly when you're wanting to do a uh, solid join on your afghan squares such as I'm doing here. So we're going to take a look at how to do that uh, for this. Um, you're going to need two afghan squares. If you're interested in the spring stitches throw or working the spring stitches throw, you can find the link to that pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and uh, that's there in the description of this video. You're also going to need a little bit more yarn for joining your squares together as well as your crochet hook. Here today I'm using a five millimeter and a little bit of Karen Simply Soft in uh, the Grey Heather. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So for this join, you are going to take your two squares and uh, make sure that they're both facing the right direction. And um, I find this, this join works a lot better when it's worked on the back side of your work. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip your squares over so that you have the wrong sides facing. You're going to sort of lay them side by side. You want them to match up. And I like to work this way, so I'm turning them horizontally. You're then going to start by joining your yarn into your right corner. And we're going to be working through the uh, back loops only of the work that's facing us or it's really the front loops of your afghan squares so if you're looking at your square and you're just considering what's facing you uh, it's the back loop so what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook find your corner stitch and into your back loop only which is the horizontal bar there that's closest to your tabletop or furthest away from you. You're going to insert your hook under that back loop only. You're going to pick up your square corresponding corner and you're going to again pick up the loop that's uh, closest to the table, your back loop only, and it's the one that's actually closest to your fabric when you're holding them uh, right sides together. So you're going to insert your hook through both thicknesses, place your yarn on your hook, pull it through both, and yarn over to complete your slip stitch. And the end we're going to uh, weave that in and secure it a little bit more. You're then going to continue working in the back loops only of each stitch on both pieces of fabric all the way across and you're going to slip stitch. So you're going to insert your hook under the back loop only of the piece that's closest to you, so my white under the back loop only of the one that's furthest away from you, the gray, yarn over, pull a loop through, and pull the loop through on your hook. And you're going to keep doing that all the way across. Now what I do is I like to work my rows continuous. So when I reach the end of this row, this block, I'm not going to fasten off or anything. I'm just going to pick up the next two, lay them side by side, and continue working on. So you're just going to continue working back loops only. Slip stitch. Back loop only, of both thicknesses, and slip stitch. As you're working this, make sure that you're not skipping any stitches in between. You don't want your join to buckle uh, and as well you want your squares to continue to lay evenly beside one another. So 
continue that across all the way. Once you're finished, uh, your horizontal, joining your horizontal rows, then you can go and you can work your vertical. And I did it the exact same way. At the end of the row, you're going to simply fasten off your work and weave in your ends. And then if you need to do any more blocking, you can do so at that time. So there it is. That's all there is to working this flat slip stitch join. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.